How can you have a nightcore outfit without any chainmail or armour? That's what I'm going to try to do today because I love the nightcore aesthetic, however, I'm poor. So, let's see what we can do. <laughs> I think the first thing I'm going to try is leather leggings. Next, I want something long that can look sort of like tabardy. So, I've gone with this. It's sort of giving 17th century book vibes with the sleeves, which is not really what I want, but it's the best I've got, so we'll give it a go. Next, I've got this corset belt, which is kind of giving armour vibes. I've got this strip of red fabric, which I think I'm going to play around with a bit and see what looks good. Okay, so this is what I ended up with. I actually really love it. It's giving more fantasy than historical night, but it's a vibe. I'm thinking lots of leather belts and harnesses will give the appearance of armour. Here's a harness on the top half. I love how you can see the band underneath. Here's the other belt. I've got this necklace which I've had for absolute years, but it looks like chainmail and it's got bits of red leather woven into the bottom. So I think this is going to be perfect. So I've just found these. I've got a red fabric belt from a dress. And a red ribbon. I think I'm going to wrap the belt around my hands and use the ribbons to tie my hair up. Look at the hair. And for the stabbies, I've got these two daggers. I've got a dagger on each side here. I think I'm going to use Sword of Gryffindor down here and then Peter's Sword from Narnia will be my, my holding. Great. Nightcore sword. A bit heavy. I'm still on my brother's helmet. I think this will do. Okay, so here's the finished outfit. Got my sword, got my helmet, got my spares. And yeah, I think I did alright considering I've got no armour. I might make some leather armour in the future out of not leather because leather is expensive. But yeah, I'm happy with this. Bye!